My plan was perfect! Sorry, pal. You just can't plan for a Cooper. Just please help me! Why should I? I do not wish to die! I guess you won't be doing any harm from a prison cell. As I said, so predictably. You won't get away with this. I'll find you. Au contraire, Sly Cooper. I do not think we will meet again. <laughs> It's been a while since that night, but there's still no sign of Sly. Or that cursed blip. The skunk could barely tread water. So by the time they picked him up, he was happy to see them. Word is he earned a special cell in solitary confinement, where the only thing he'll be collecting from now on is gray hair. Both Paris and the Thievius Raccoons were back to normal, but that hardly made us feel any better. At first, we just waited, assuming Sly would show up the way he always did. But as the days stretched into weeks, we had to face the fact that he was truly lost. We've stopped talking about it all the time, but I know it's all we're thinking about, even if we show it in different ways. Murray seems like his usual cheerful self, but I can tell there's a new level of seriousness underneath it all. He's on the professional wrestling circuit now, and he's really been pushing himself. I know he's doing it to keep his fighting skills sharp. Like all of us, he wants to be ready for action the minute we locate Sly. Carmelita returned to Interpol, where she threw herself into her work, busting criminals at a record pace. She's been so busy, I haven't seen her for a while now. My sources tell me she's conducting her own investigation into Sly's whereabouts. Out of everyone, I think she took his disappearance the hardest. Even if she never shows it. At least not in public. As for myself, I continue to search. Even using all my technology, I haven't found a clue. The time machine is no help since we need to know where Sly was for that to work. I get discouraged sometimes, but I'll never give up. Because I know Sly's out there, and I know that wherever he is, we will find him.